There have been many rumors lately about a possible release for Resident Evil 7, some going as far to say that it will be announced at E3 this year. So before the big announcement for the game, I would like to talk about 7 things I would like to see in the new Resident Evil game. Before I begin, these are all in my own opinion, so if you agree or disagree with me, then please let me know down in the comments. First I would like to start off with something that really annoyed me in the last two Resident Evil games and to some extent in Resident Evil 4. Forcing players to play cooperatively or with an AI controlled bot at your side. Instead of having a bot that is practically useless by your side at all times, how about you ditch the bot altogether? I am perfectly okay with co-op being scrapped completely from the main story in Resident Evil 7, as I am not a big fan of co-op in horror games. Take a look at Outlast. It does not have co-op or any multiplayer for that matter, and it does horror extremely well. I get that co-op could be fun and mowing down zombies with a friend is a fantastic way to spend a Saturday night. I think that it does not belong in Resident Evil 7. Leave the co-op to mercenaries or other multiplayer type modes. Up next I would like to see a good balance of horror and action. In my opinion Resident Evil 4 has the best balance of the Resident Evil games. Take a look back when you first played the game. It was eerie, especially during the night levels, or when you ran into the regenerator for the first time. That shit was scary when I first encountered it. There weren't any parts like that in the last two Resident Evil games, as it focused more on the action each time around. I think that Resident Evil 6 has a goddamn identity crisis as it was all over the place. Keep the camera tightly over the shoulder like in Resident Evil 4 and 5, keep the gameplay slow paced, and keep the horror alive. Speaking of combat and action, my next point is customization. No, I don't mean create your own character, I'm talking about clothing and weapon customization. Resident Evil 4 did a good job of the latter with the merchant. Upgrading your firearms was a good incentive for collecting treasure and exploring the levels. Resident Evil 5 did this okay too, albeit a bit more dull since they scrapped the idea of the merchant. Unlocking costumes for completing certain achievements was also fun and keep you engaged even after you beat the game. However, they strayed away from this in Resident Evil 6 where they scrapped the weapon customization altogether. Next, we need a more down-to-earth storyline. Resident Evil is notorious for having a wacky storyline and crazy lore, but the last three games have been taking it further and further off the grid. Resident Evil 4 was decent, keeping a story with insane boundaries. Resident Evil 5 and Resident Evil 6 was just fucking wacky, almost laughable. Actually, Resident Evil 6 story is just downright fucking stupid. For Resident Evil 7, we need to go back to small-scale story and keep away from the cliché tropes that have been present in the past. Next thing we need are fresh faces. I love the characters like Leon and Chris, but they have been getting all the spotlight. Move on to characters that haven't been seen in a while, like Claire, Barry, Jill, or Ada. Yes, I realize that Jill and Ada have been in recent Resident Evil games, and even Claire with Resident Evil Revelations 2, but I am talking about a main protagonist that we play as for the entirety of the story. Or we can even introduce new characters and kill old ones off, or maybe even retire those old ones. These guys are starting to get old and kind of bored. This suggestion is not a deal breaker for me, however, because I still will be just as happy to play a game as Leon and Chris again, as long as the other points are taken into consideration. Another thing we need in the next Resident Evil game is dreadful atmospheres. I want to sit at the edge of my seat because the environment is so fucking realistic and creepy. Again, take a look at Outlast. That game is a perfect example of a dreadful atmosphere. Even the evil within has a decently good atmosphere too. We just need something that is refreshing from the over the top environments we have been placed into over the years with Resident Evil. Don't get me started on the fucking volcano level in Resident Evil 5. My last point is to add psychological horror into the game. I know that this genre of horror really belongs on the Silent Hill front, but with Silent Hills being cancelled, we need Resident Evil 7 to step up to the plate. I don't think it would be a good idea to go full out psychological horror in this game, but just to scatter elements of it when it fits the narrative or atmosphere. I think it would be a good addition to the next Resident Evil, and if done correctly, it'd be a welcome addition. Take a look back at the development stage for Resident Evil 4, the very first one, like Resident Evil 3.5 or whatever people call it. That looked like it had some psychological horror into it. Maybe instead of scrapping that idea, they could put elements of that game, take some ideas from that game and put it into Resident Evil 7. That'd be a good idea. And all, I'm looking forward to Resident Evil 7. It's been just about four years since Resident Evil 6, and I think Capcom has plenty of time to learn from their mistakes. This could be a Capcom's opportunity to take the horror genre back and to make Resident Evil great again. Thank you guys for watching this video. 
I've had this idea flowing around for a few months now and I finally just got around to making it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys differ in opinion or even agree with me, let me know in the comments. Let me know your ideas and thoughts. Uh, stay connected. Uh, my Twitter and Twitch links are in the description below. If you're interested in Resident Evil 4 or 5, uh, a little bit of the older ones too, subscribe to my channel because I have plenty of that up and still making plenty of that in the future. So I'll see you guys in the next video.